So, I've had my Gorilla Silver back for about a month now. And while it's not perfect, it is the best smoker, pellet smoker I've ever owned. And I, and I, and I still love it. I wish the seal here, this weld, was better. I don't know. It is... Yeah, it's that cold out. And the double walled construction in it means no blanket. I just, it doesn't really seem to go through more pellets either. My old, uh, my old pellet smoker, I had a welding blanket I'd throw over it and I could barely get 300 degrees out of it. I've done 500 degrees in the middle of winter with this thing. <clears throat> I finished a prime rib with it for uh, Christmas Eve supper um, for friends. And uh, yeah, I was pretty happy about that. It worked good. A uh, little fit and finish issues. Doesn't quite seal all the way. I wish the I wish the accessory pack wasn't an accessory pack. I wish it was just included with the grill. Because if you're thinking about buying one of these, order the accessory pack. You, you're going to really want it. Um, I wish, I love the idea of recycling cans because I'm kind of a recycle guy. I wish that was bigger so I could put the bigger cans in it too like the Progresso soup cans and stuff um, what else had problems with the Wi-Fi anybody that watched my first video probably knew that um, and they released an update for the app for Android the same day I posted that video um, still had problems with it here's a pro tip if you're having problems getting it to connect to your Wi-Fi and you're running a dual band router like I am, disable the 5G. Even if you set it up for for a 2.4 gigahertz, if you're still running a 5G on the same router, it, it drops the connection and it won't hook up again. Um, since I disabled the 5G, I don't really use it anyway. I, I haven't had a problem with this thing. I, I could have I could have fired this up from clear across town this afternoon, got it started, um, but I haven't had to. So that's that's a tip, and it, and and the, and the app actually does work pretty well. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm curious to see how it does a year from now. If it's still if it's st if I'm still really happy with it, I hope so. The the Wi-Fi, you know, I kind of wonder. It's like Green Mountain puts an antenna on there that screws onto the outside of it. Yeah. If I knew more about circuits, I'd, circuit boards, I'd think about taking that panel off and seeing where, you know, there must be some place you could put like a three-foot antenna wire or something, just, just so it got a little bit better reception. But, yeah, it's only 10 feet away from my router anyway. Well, all right, 20 feet away from my router. So it should get a pretty good signal. All in all, um, I've been really, really happy with uh, the with, with build. Uh, you know, probably 9 out of 10 stars. Uh, the value, 10 out of 10. Um, it does what it's advertised to do. I just just wish that it had the accessory pack with it. And, yeah, I could do a whole other video on the problems I've had getting that. Um, it cooks nice. Uh, and really even. The videos you might have seen about doing, like... Uh, uh, biscuit tests and stuff on here that's for real i i did my first test with uh, a dozen chicken drumsticks and i just put them all over the grill and they all cooked evenly so it was like nothing uh, my old pellet grill wouldn't do that it definitely had a hot spot and cold spots this is uh, nice and even i like it i like that a lot all right well that's it